Today, we're gonna test a very interesting theory that I have seen around the YouTubes. Are the Shining Fates two-pack mini tins guaranteed to have banger hits? What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, that God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Like I said, today we're going to test a theory that I've been seeing around on the internet about the Shining Fates mini tins. If you're not sure what the mini tins are, it's these little tins right here that come with two packs in each tin. And normally it's like some, you know, it's one set and another set, but these specifically have two packs of Shining Fates in them. And I saw a video that Max Mofo did, and this really spurned this idea, and I kind of went down a rabbit hole, where he opened a case of Shining Fates mini tins. That's 10 tins, 10 mini tins, and every single one except one tin had an incredibly nice, ultra rare, or better pool. So I want to test the theory. Is there a secret about mini tins that every tin is going to get you an ultra rare pool? So what I have right here is I have 10 mini tins. And if you pay attention to uh, my community tab on, on YouTube, you'll notice that every once in a while, if I see things go in stock, I'll post links like, hey, this went in stock. And these went in stock on Amazon. I want to say they were $8 a 10. So it was a five pack for 45 bucks. So I ordered 10 thinking, well, Amazon has a great return policy, hoping to get a sealed case. And I didn't get a sealed case. But as you can see, I do have 10 right here and they came packaged like this. And so a lot of people were telling me, oh, Amazon's going to cancel the order. And I was like, well, I'll try. And they showed up like two days later. So we have these 10 Shining Fates mini tins and we're gonna test this theory. Guys, if this is your first time to the channel and you like all things Pokemon, I bring you two to three videos a week about news, openings. So if you wanna stay up to date, smash that subscription button and that notification bell. That way YouTube will tell you when I upload new content. All right, without any further ado, let's jump into these packages. So I really did order these hoping that they would send a sealed case. Uh, and then I was just gonna keep the sealed case. Uh, and then they sent them like this. And I was like, well, there's no sense in trying to, <laughs> to keep a sealed case anymore. Let's open them up and see what we get. We are still hunting for that shiny Charizard. And interesting thing to check out is the way they did them. Look, it's not even uh, a full art set. So that's actually something that the Amazon listing stated was that it was going to be a full art set. And they didn't even do that, which is a disappointment. These were shipped and sold by Amazon. And so the other one, I'm not sure if the other one's going to be a full art set or not. Should be five different tins. But anyways, uh, like I said, I saw that video that Max Mofo did and uh, I have seen multiple other just accounts of Shining Fates mini tins on the internet just being complete bangers. So I want to test the theory. Uh, is there a secret that, uh, you know, Shining Fates mini tins have a banger hit in every single one? And look at that, a Blastoise coin. That's kind of cool. If you don't know, I did a video a while ago testing the theory uh, if Vivid Voltage uh, three pack blisters, if there's a secret, if they contain a ultra rare for every single one. And that was a really fun video. So let's start off with our first mini tin of 10 <laughs> mini tins. I'm going to get tongue tied by the end of this. Guys, drop a comment down below if you have finished your Shining Fates set. Have you pulled the cards you've been wanting to pull from Shining Fates? I am coming very near the end of the amount of Shining Fates product that I told my myself I could buy and once uh, I'm done with it I'm done with it so we're still trying to pull the Charizard one two three and the Skyla burn the fire energy so let's see what we can do today ladies and gentlemen starting off with the gym trainer Floatzel, Team Yell Tao, Nickit, Gossiflor, Choodle, Morpeko, Cacnea, Zerud Reverse and a Frozmoth regular rare so testing the theory if every mini tin or if the vast majority of mini tins contain an ultra rare pool or better. So we have 10. So for our theory to be proven, I would say we need to get like seven ultra rare, six or seven ultra rare pools or better today. So drop me a comment down below guys and let me know what you think. Is this theory going to be proven or is this theory going to be debunked in today's video? Got the fighting energy. We're going to start off with an Eldegoss 
Dartrix, Luxio, Morpeko, Cacnea, Horsey, Qfont, Choodle, oh, Bunnelby, Baby Shiny. All right, first hit. So this tin had, I don't know if you consider this an ultra rare, but it's still a very good hit. It's still a very good pull. So this tin, uh, I would say, checks checks the mark. It, it wins uh, so far. So Bunnelby, Baby Shiny, and behind that we have a Boss's Orders Regular Rare. Let's get on to our second tin. Second tin, this one is a Celebi artwork. All right, Charizard. Wow, the coins are pretty cool. So far, Blastoise and Charizard. Be really sick if we got a uh, Blastoise, Charizard, and a Venusaur coin. That'd be cool. All right, two packs from this one. So far, we're one for one. One tin opened, one really good pull. So I'm very interested to see uh, if this theory is true and if the Shining Fates mini tins are just bangers. One, two, three. And we're gonna burn the lightning energy. And we're gonna hit that team Yeltao, Luxio, Floatzel, Spinarak, Snom, Snom. I don't know what to think about this Pokemon. It's just a weird, it's just a weird Pokemon. Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Horsey Reverse, and a Volcanion non holographic rare. Alrighty. Coming down to the second one. <laughs> Coming down. To the second one let's see what we're gonna get here i really enjoyed shining fates uh i i am ready for uh chilling rain and uh i am ready for some new you know to open up some other sets but shining fates has been a lot of fun i think shining fates will be fun to open uh for long long times to come we are going to start with a dar tricks ball guy cramorant yanma trap pinch nicket Gossiflor, Cacnean, oh, very nice, baby, shiny, score bunny. So second 10, second 10 is doing all right. And a Professor's Research regular rare. So we got Manaphy, let's see, we got another Blastoise, another Blastoise. Still pretty cool, uh, pretty cool coin. What do you guys do with your coins? I don't really collect the coins, uh, so I don't really know what to do with them. I did see my buddy popping off the walls, but, uh, bought like a, just a normal, I guess it's like a coin binder for coins, like actual, you know, currency type coins that people would collect. And he used that and he seemed to like that one, two, three, and we're going to burn the psychic energy. All right. Going quick through these because pretty much we've seen all the commons already. Everybody knows what the commons are. Eevee, Gossiflor, Choodle, Morpeko. Oh, <laughs> Lapras VMAX. Shiny, all right, I'd say this third 10, uh, I'd say this third 10 uh, counts as having a solid hit. Very cool card. I have pulled it a couple times, but very, very nice card. And behind it, a Cinderace V, so a double hit on that 10. Wow, I'm, I'm really, wow, I'm getting surprised. Cinderace V and a Lapras VMAX full art shiny. It's been a while since I pulled a full art shiny like that. Um, or a, a VMAX full art shiny like that. And it seems like, I don't know, is it just me or is everybody else having good luck pulling the Lapras? Cause I do believe, I do believe that's the third Lapras that I've pulled. One, two, three, or the third Lapras VMAX shiny that I pulled. Burn the fire energy. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, I need to add the VMAX Charizard to my collection. Coughing, Shinx, Grookey, Trap Inch, Thievil Reverse, and a Professor's Research. So far, we are three for three for the tins having banger hits in them. Uh, so far, the theory is proving true. Very, very interesting. Okay, we have a Zerud artwork right here. Let's get in here. Oh, wow, look at that. I've not seen that coin before. Eevee, nice. The coins in these are not bad. Alrighty, Toxtricity, Dragapult, see what you guys got. See what you guys got. Guys, I hope you all enjoy my videos. If you're having a fun time and enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's free for you to do, and it really does help. It tells YouTube that you know the video's doing well. One, two, three, and let's burn the metal energy. Uh, and if you haven't already, hit that subscription button if you enjoy the content. I do try and bring y'all good, quality, fun, entertaining content. Try and get you guys to smile and enjoy your day when you see my videos. Ball Guy Reverse and a Yon Mega Regular Rare. So far, three for three on our tens having banger hits in them. 
three for three. So, so far it seems like you get one pack that doesn't have a hit, and then you get one pack that does have a hit. So there is the code card, one, two, three, and we're gonna burn the Psychic Energy. So this one needs to have a hit. Eldegoss, Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, uh-oh, Reverse Choodle, and okay, there we go, Crobat V. Crobat V, the V card that was super, super, super hard to get and super coveted <laughs> until Shining Fates when he started showing up everywhere. But uh, that's still an ultra rare, so we're five for five. No, four for four. We have the fifth one right here. All right, another Celebi artwork and another Charizard. So far, two Blastoise and an Eevee. Pretty cool. All right, Corviknight, what you got? What you got for me? It's like a Cacnea right off the button. And a code card for you guys. And we're gonna one, two, three, burn the water energy. And we have a Yeltow, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Cacnea, Elephant, Fox, Spider, Shinx, ooh, a Luxray, Reverse Hollow, and a Manaphy Regular Rare. It seems like it keeps coming down to the second pack, huh? <laughs> keeps coming down to the second pack. These packs are not like opening super buttery or, or super smooth. They're, they're a little bit of trouble to open. One, two, three. And we're going to burn the metal energy and here we go with the Yeltao, Luxio, Floatzel, Buizel, Yanma, Trapinch, Gossiflor, Nicket. Oh right! Rotom Baby Shiny. That's a really cool Rotom. Ah, it's one of the cooler baby shinies in my opinion. Very, very cool. Check that out. I've only seen this one pulled a few times, so that's exciting. And another boss's orders. A darn boss's orders card is just so abundant in, in this set. Uh, not bad right there, Rotom Baby Shiny. So that first five, we are five for five. Five of the tens out of five had a banger hit, a rare hit, or a shiny, or an ultra rare, or better. So far, so good. Okay, let's see. We're gonna hit the Celebi 10 up right here. Celebi, bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what we got, another Charizard coin. The coins in these are pretty good, to be frank with you. Uh, Charizard, Blastoise, and an Eevee? Like, can't go wrong with that at all. And Toxtricity to start us off. So what do you think, guys? We're halfway through. Do you think we're going to... We won't be able to definitively prove anything unless we opened, like, a hundred tins, but we can prove within a small margin of error. Do you think we're going to be able to prove that these tins are really good for getting good hits? One, two, three. And we're going to burn the Fighting Energy... And we're gonna hit up the Floatzel, Tropius, Fall Guy, Q Font. Can we get a Forlock Trainer or V Max Shiny? Uh, Dreadnaw Blastoise's cousin. That Dreadnaw haunts me. That Dreadnaw haunts me. Corbin Knight. These packs are quite difficult to open. There is the weirdest Pokemon ever, Snom. There is the code card. I have so many Shining Fates code cards that right now I'm just giving them all to you guys. One, two, three, burn the lightning energy. Here we are again, the pressure's on, down to the second pack. Luxio, Ball Guy, Tropius, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Choodle. Oh, Lapras V full art shiny, wow, okay, okay. And a Celebi regular rare. All right. Six for six on the tins, my friends. Six for six. Look at that. Lapras V Max and Lapras V full art shinies. Very cool. Let's go on to tin number seven with the Zarud artwork and another Eevee. This is interesting. Look at this. So this Eevee coin is a flat shine, and this Eevee coin has some glisten to it. Cool. These are the first coins that I pulled out of things that uh, I actually think are pretty cool. Except for the Battle Academy box. Uh, I bought the Battle Academy box, and it had a really cool, uh, a really cool Charizard coin in it that I thought was very, very interesting. And we've got the weird Pokemon Snom again. There is the code card. We got one, two, three. 
and we're gonna burn the energy. Is today the day where I'm gonna pull the Charizard? Is today the day? I guess we're gonna find out. Floatzel, Dartrix, we got a ball. We got the weird Pokemon, Horsey, Rowlet, Morpeko, Spinarak, Chudo Reverse, and a Vol Canyon regular rare. The pressure is on the second pack again. Man, I'm really curious if this is gonna turn out how many of these tins. These, it's blowing my mind how rough these packs are to open. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna turn out, how many of these tins uh, are gonna have good hits. One, two, three, and we're gonna burn the fighting. Fighting energy, and here we go. Luxio, Yeltao, Thwacky, Gossiflor, Cacnea, Elephant, Weasel, Spinarak, uh-oh, could this be our first one? Rotom, and it's not our first one, even though it is probably one of the worst ultra rare pulls in the set. We've got the Cramorant V. All right, guys, so far we are seven for seven on the Shining Fates mini tins. Uh-oh, Blastoise trying to run away. So far we are seven for seven on the Shining Fates mini tins having good hits in them. Boom, let's do it. Three more tins to go. And remember, like I said, I saw that these went in stock and I posted it on my community tab uh, on the YouTube channel and a lot of people were able to snag some. And so that's something I've been doing. Like Target went in stock with uh, some Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes and I posted that on the community tab and people were able to, uh, to grab some. So pay attention to my community tab. I try and post like little treats there for you guys uh, if I see something go in stock. And it might be in stock for five minutes or it might be in stock for an hour, you never know. Gossiflor Reverse and Zarude Regular Rare down to the second pack again. This pack feels super weird. You know how like a bag of chips feels if it's not pressurized properly and you just feel the air, but it's not like, you know, pressurized. That's that's what that felt like. There is your code card. And we got a one, two, three. And let's burn the psychic energy. And we got Yeltao. I am still obviously searching for Charizard. Guys, I've pulled the other two VMAXs. Really want to pull it. Here we go again. Second pack. Tropius Reverse and an Indeedy Holographic Rare. So, this so is the first one. We didn't get an Ultra Rare pull. So, we are eight tins in, but we got a Hollow pull. So, does that really count? I don't know. What do you guys think? Does the Hollow Rare pull count? I don't know. Should it count? I guess maybe it could. I guess we'll have to decide. We'll have to decide. But so seven out of eight tens then so far with uh, a good hit, uh, an ultra rare or a baby shiny. Uh, and the Eevee coin is really cool. I would say seven out of 10 is pretty definitive to say like, if you buy, if you find these for retail for like 10 bucks or eight bucks or whatever, it's a pretty definitive like guess that you have a, you have a really good chance of in your tin at least getting a good hit. Uh, I mean, the spread's not bad. Uh, we've got two full art shinies, three baby shinies, and three Vs. Like, that's not terrible. You could, Battle Styles definitely, definitely has worse pulls than that. One, two, three, and burn the fighting energy. And we have Budget Wingle, Tropius, Rotom, Rowlet, Buizel, Trap Hinch, Snom, Grookey, Reverse Team Yeltao and Manaphy Regular Rare. Tired of seeing Manaphy and Celebi. Just, 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 just saying. Tired of seeing Manaphy and Celebi. All right, pack number two. What's it gonna do? Pack number two. There's the code card. And one, two, three. Burn the fire energy. Oh, let's rub that for good luck. Let's see what we can get. All right. Tropius, Gym Trainer, Luxio, Buizel, Rowlet, Trapinch, Snom, Groupie. Oh, hey! Our first amazing rare. Okay. Kyogre, amazing rare. That I would consider this to be a, a good hit. Um, probably the most beautiful of all the amazing rares, rivaled by, um, definitely rivaled by Rayquaza, but a good hit for sure. And a Yon Mega regular rare all right we'll take the kyogre absolutely absolutely we'll take the kyogre that is awesome so we are eight out of nine ladies and gentlemen i would say my theory is probably it's not like i said not definitively proven but definitely proven pretty close 
uh, that you have a high a high likelihood. There we go, another Blastoise. You have oh, Blastoise. Want to focus? There you go. Uh, you have a very high likelihood of getting great pulls uh, out of your tins if you uh, if you buy tins. So so far we are eight out of nine with good hits. I'd say that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know if we want to call it like perfectly definitive, but it is. I would say it is a nice little secret that uh, Shining Fates mini tins. Uh, will more than likely contain good hits for you. One, two, three, and burn the lightning energy. And let's see, Floatzel, Tropius, Ball Guy with a ball on his head, coughing, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Choodle. Ah, oh, there we go. Appleton, Baby Shiny. So that's a good one too. Okay. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I don't think I pulled this one. I pulled the Flapple. Pulled the Flapple. And bosses, get out of here, bosses orders. I have... 40,000 of you, I don't need any more. Last pack, so no matter what this pack has, nine out of 10 of the tens had good hits in them. So that's the exact same ratio I saw Max Mofo. That's 90% across two different you know, openings that I've seen and then a bunch of other openings with similar odds that 90% chance that your tin, if you get a mini tin, is going to have a good hit in it. So I would say the, the odds of mini tins having great hits is high. And like the odds of Shining Fates getting a good pull is is high as well. But still, I mean, I would not uh, hesitate to buy these two pack mini tins uh, if you find them for retail. I wouldn't hesitate at all. All right, last pack magic, one, two, three. And we're gonna burn the fighting energy. I'm starting to think I'm never gonna pull the Charizard. <laughs> Which is okay. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's free for you to do, it really does help. And if you're not already, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. I bring you guys two or three videos a week, Pokemon news, openings, all kinds of fun stuff. Alrighty, let's see what we're gonna get. Are we gonna get last pack magic? We have Eldegoss, Luxio, Ball Guy, Spinarak, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, more Petco. Ah, oh, Weasel reverse, go away, and a budget. Wingle again. Eh, not bad, but uh, yeah, I have enough budget Wingles in my collection. All right, my friends, well, I hope I earned your subscription today. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Lots of fun stuff for you guys to enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.